The CDC is standing behind its recently released guidelines on school reopenings after the nation's second largest teachers union questioned whether or not it would keep teachers safe. Jonathan Siri has more from Atlanta. More states are accelerating their reopening plans, and a big part of that is getting kids back in classrooms. A new survey from the Department of Education shows about half of all schools are open for full-time in-person learning. But now the country's second biggest teachers union is pushing back on new CDC guidelines, recommending only three feet of social distancing for elementary school students, saying the guidance doesn't go far enough to protect teachers in the classroom. Just hours later, the White House and announcing $81 billion in funding to help schools reopen safely in the fall. This announcement builds on our ongoing efforts to support schools and staff by investing in testing and prioritizing teachers for vaccination. Together, these steps will help return more kids back to the classroom sooner. The debate over in-person learning is heating up just as states are starting to expand vaccine eligibility. At least eight states have announced all adults will be eligible to get the shot. And on Wednesday, the home of the Atlanta Falcons officially became the biggest mega center in the southeast, aiming to vaccinate more than 40,000 people a week. Welcome news for some folks who still say they're having trouble getting an appointment. I'm on Publix, Walgreens, Kroger, CVS three times a week, 6.30 in the morning, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and everything come back. We're full. We're fully booked, fully booked, fully booked. Vaccinations here will run seven days a week for at least eight weeks and will not require photo ID or insurance.